Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect in the previous episode, Absolute Chaos. Not only did we have an explosion um, from this power station here which took out all of this area including the walls and then started burning through, we uh, then had to deal with obviously all of the subsequent fallout of that. So um, no power uh, and no water and then obviously all of the writing and the problems with that and things like that and then finally there was a radical preacher that's been preaching things which is why the danger level is stupidly high so overall not entirely um not entirely to our advantage is it but i've managed to go ahead and um pretty much sort most that out and that should now be everything powered up which um yes it almost is apart from that which is currently under a riot situation <laughs> what the hell's going on um i don't know what i know is that you're fighting is that just one prisoner it is it really is um, we're, we're not really putting up with that. Anyway, that's probably one of those um, prisons affected by by the, uh, the preaching. Because, uh, yeah, Alex Wiley have no reason to kick off like that. But anyway, um, what we'll do is we'll go over to our rooms and then to the canteen. And obviously, we'll now designate all this as canteen. We're nowhere near out of the woods yet. We've still got uh, the rest of the um, flooring stuff to put in and things like that. But for the most part, we're doing all right now. Um... <laughs> Someone in the comments said um, <laughs> said something along the lines of, I imagine this is what happens when Brexit finally drops. <laughs> and that tickled me somewhat, I must confess. Oh, good grief, right. So, we're, uh, we've got all that sorted there, with all of the flooring put in. We are back to relatively okay now. Um, in terms of the staffing, we did lose some staff. Um, so I will um, hire some more. So there's a dog patrol. Uh, we did need to hire another gardener from... What the hell is that? Um, tough and extremely volatile. James Conaghan. Yeah, it looks like... The... We're on free fire, right? We're just not... You know, <laughs> we're just not caring anymore. Um, obviously, there's a lot of traits. There's Tom Matthews. No reason to kick off the more um, prison number 7038218 there's no reason for them to boot off but they'd because of this this preacher stuff there um, let's see where it is serious complaints um, doesn't say actually in there all right okay obviously there's a lot of uh, staff morale that's low as well if we go over to our um, needs and then staff see there's a huge bladder bowels and food need that's because we never had this uh, fill with water. We never were uh, generating food. Uh, if we go over to food distribution now in logistics, we can see that this is still getting set by that. Hang on, what's moving over there? That one. And that one to there. Right, that's fine. That should be the distribution all done now. So, God, look how filthy it is as well. It is absolutely filthy. I'd like to hire a couple more cleaners but it is getting cleaned let's hire a couple more there we are and we should be getting back on track obviously I need to staff only a lot of this stuff as well that's fine um, nothing else blew up which was always good um, and I think that's about it right so the the plan for this episode, apart from recovering from that, was to sort this area out because originally we were going to have this as our Supermax, but we're not doing that anymore. Um, this is going to be Supermax, and this is Supermax is now only going to be for legendary prisons or prisoners very close to legendary. That's what's going to be in here. Um, this one is just going to be graded at high risk. So what we'll probably do, quite honestly, is split it down the middle and then do that. So we'll have a, a 4x4, very similar to these ones, but nowhere near as furnished, and then this one here. Um, or do we want to do it the other way? Yes, we do want to do it the other way, like that. Okay, and that's what we'll have in there. So it'll be that. There you go. I mean, we could shrink it up and have that, and then... Um, I mean, we could just do that. I, we could just do that and have it with more stuff in. But I think, yeah, if we go for that, that should be okay. All right. So danger level is going down now, um, which is good. We don't have any designation for this shower, so we haven't set this to any particular person, mainly because we can't. It's not possible. 
because it's outside, same as this one, but they are using the closest one, which is good. We're going for a shakedown here, because I think it's worth, uh, I think we should do that one. So you've got lots of exports there, lots of, um, lots of, uh, sales commission and things like that, and now we've got 10 grand, so more than enough to really, um, clean everything up. That's still not working. Ah, that's why, that's because, um, when it burns, it actually burns the designation of the of the rooms, which is a strange one, because it just totally destroys it. There we go. That should now be done. Excellent. Okay. So there's our shakedown going ahead. Uh, in terms of guards, uh, we've lost some guards. There we are. There's should be enough. In terms of high risk, we currently have uh, our maximum security, rather, we have a total maximum security of 32 with a capacity of 48. Remember, we are going to be moving these over to here at some point. All of these areas are getting searched, not that it needs to be, but we are going to search that. This is getting sorted here. And I think what I'll do is put in the remaining cookers. Insufficient funds. We'll get there. That's fine. Alright. So a lot of people in lockdown, which is good because we do need some... 20 prisoners due for all. Good grief. Um, several people were in lockdown, but... Not that we can uh, get CIs. Sort of past that stage, sadly. There you go. You can see they're all using this over here. And danger level is now very, very low. Just going to turn... Actually, we're not going to turn off that shakedown. We've got more than enough guards to continue doing that. So we'll, we'll, we will crack on with that one. Obviously, we are going to receive some more people shortly. Um, that's still... Still got a hole in there, so that's not a legitimate room, which is why they're all in there, but I don't have the money to finish that. Let's turn that off for now. But when our intake comes, we'll be able to sort that. This is the thing. There's been loads that I've missed... Just because of the, well, just because of A, incompetence, B, also because of the explosion and the subsequent problems that that's caused. And it still costs a 20 square metre to remove it. There we go, finally removed. Oh, but we've got tunnels under there as well. That's why it's costing. Darn it. At least this is now back on track. They're eating there. And they're eating over here. That's good. So obviously this isn't set to high risk or he doesn't need to be. Right, that's fine then. That's fine. So we're going to activate some CIs. We're going to go back over to um, lock up there. Let's go back to our normal schedule. So it is CIs. One, two, three, four. Because why not? Jason Chen, no coverage at all. Let's we'll activate as many as possible. Get better coverage. So immediately, Stephen Underwood's being... Oh, we're having a natter to him there. And you can see we've got targets there. And elsewhere. There's a prisoner. Strong, tough, stock or fearless. That I think originally they were set to... I think originally they were set to... Um, Supermax, but we've... Altered that now. I managed to spend just enough to get that removed there. So there, 15 maximum security is now gonna be in, now gonna be brought in. Which is good. And we will tile that back up. Don't think there's anywhere else, is there? Don't think so. When in doubt though. Remove tunnels. There you go. Not. Okay, that's fine. Excellent. So we'll power that up. So the kitchen and canteen. Both these areas are done. That is definitely set to canteen, yes. Um, that's okay there, that's fine. Those are working there. We have power in here with people working. Just check the work, actually. Um, room quality, no. Why is that different? That's strange. Grade 4, grade 6. At least 18 squares a prisoner. Don't know. 
Is it just... Ah, it's because the current occupants is less on that one. That's why, um... On le yeah, so there's less less occupants. There's only two occupants, so yes. Um, room size at least 18 squares per prisoner. Well, there's only two prisoners, so yes, of course it is. <laughs> and the grade will go down when people turn up because people make it filthy because they're dirty. Anyway, so uh, we need to change this up, and we can probably do that quite easily. So we're just going to go to room cell, get rid of all those cells. Uh, we will dismantle object. We're going to dismantle all of the things in here. Uh, even the doors and stuff. Sounds like a bit more fighting there. I still don't know why. Even though we're walking right past here, we can't see anything. Slightly annoying. Looks like the daily cash flow is going back to what it used to be with all of the people working. That's the thing that... I, re I did realise. I did realise that we were getting a lot of money from the workshop but the thing is that this is actually sustaining the prison this entire thing is sustaining the prison without this workshop we're probably not earning enough money to keep going which is strange because i don't think i've done that in quite a while i'm going to stop uh, a couple of these country apprenticeships because we just don't need to do it there's only one qualified and interested i'm going to start pairing some of this down now behavioral therapy will keep going on that one uh, general education, only one interested, we'll stop that. Um, alcoholics group, we'll keep that going. Pharmacological treatment, one in queue. Probably best to keep that going. Parole hearing, yeah, more parole is fine. Spiritual guidance, fine. Kitchen safety, no. And we'll do a taser certification because we uh, have got some new guards, you see. So that's fine. So when we get to 70 minimum security prisoners, we'll have more than enough to um, do all of this over here. Just going to double check there. You can see we have a total of 32 um, maximum security. And we have 48 capacity. So that's fine. That's good. That's good. Okay. So we will remove walls. So demolish walls there and there and there. Not the centre one, obviously. And then we will... I mean, we could clone these. Do we want to clone them? We might as well clone them. It saves us some time and money. And it doesn't really matter that... It doesn't really matter that the toilets are too far up the top or anything. There we go, there's that. So back on to sleep time. If that's a CI, not volatile, no. So that's good. So we'll do another shakedown because we didn't really we we did finish it last time, but uh yeah. Actually no, we haven't done in a while. Roll call. So they shall get up. And move to the beds. Oh, he's not. Fraser Brown is not moving to his bed. And to the door. See that? Some of these were a little bit later because they were further away. Stahl was a little bit further away, but not a problem. These are still... Sl he's not... Has he moved or not? I don't know whether he's moved or not because that is a face in game and that might have some quirks. Is that the Morris? It's the Morris! We have the Morris here as well. Cool. Um, he is looking fine. And we can't tell here for whatever reason. Yeah. It doesn't work around here. Having cells go directly outside just doesn't seem to work very well. Okay, now we'll do a shakedown. Um, very interested in what happens over here. And that toilet. Let's see what happens, shall we? So searching loads of places, you can see that we're not finding a great deal of stuff, which is to be expected. Um, if we go over to here last 24 hours see that the supply for weapons tools and narcotics and and luxuries in fact all of it is is quite high axe where the hell does the axe come from i wonder where that come from rope scissors 
I mean, I would assume an axe would come from there. Um, it was stolen there and detected and then detected a million times there and then detected... I can't say I've ever... <laughs> Why is that... Why is that not been found up until now? Well, <laughs> fair enough. It'd be detected multiple times. Maybe we just didn't have the staff to search them. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to worry too much about it. There we are. So let's just double check. Did I mosaic that under there? I did. Right. So we're going to get several prisoners turn up shortly. That's good. We have exercise happening in the yards. Danger levels going down in terms of our needs. You can see that prison needs is fairly okay. Staff needs are back to normal. Um, over to our logistics and prison labour. Uh, jobs are assigned all around here, apart from the kitchen, which we're not going to do. Uh, although we should set that kitchen to staff only, which is something I forgot to do. Uh, deployment, staff only, done. Uh, might as well set that a little bit as well. There we go. Because things will be stolen from there. There we are. And there's loads of tasers. And there's prison intake. So we will... Uh, it's currently eat time. So I don't want to be activating anyone just yet. But as soon as eat time's finished... Oh, there's a snitch. So straight away, Scott Mead, snitch. You are going to be protective custody. And we'll say lockdown permanent. So we spotted him straight away. Um, and yes, by the way, if suspicion goes too high, they then get the snitch trait and then we'll be uh, probably hit. The other prisoners will probably uh, attack them. So activate, 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 activate. Get them all on the go. Well, not all on the go because Jason Chen's still got... Zero uh, coverage because, oh, to be fair, he is a confidential, infor he's a confidential informant, but he's in um, he's uh, protective custody, so he doesn't have access to the facility. Really, he doesn't have one. He doesn't wander around. Well, not, 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 not really. <laughs> it uh, definitely doesn't. So, snitch there. That's the one. Scott Mead. So we knew about him. Found them straight away. Um, yeah, it's just the rest. Having the instigators in here seems to have worked out. Which I'm happy to say. So you can see the ones getting targeted. That's fine. We're okay there. That's great. Alright, so. I don't think there's anything else we need to worry about that one. No, that's fine. Right, so we are back on track there. Let's get this cell, um, these, these cells finalised. So we want to go for a clone if possible. Although I don't know if it is going to be possible. Certainly the top and bottom will be. Which will be very, very highly graded. So, um, we'll set that as AXEC. And we'll go to clone. And we want to clone that side. Uh, oh no, actually, I want to clone that side. And that side. The reason I'm not doing the exterior bit is because it's a solitary door and these are not going to have solitaries on it. Um, for the, that bit there, we need a Th uh, distance of three, and I don't think we really have one. Although what I could do is clone that. Could I clone that? Clone that and then alter it? That's a possibility. Clone that there. Clone that there. Okay, and then we cancel. Ah, no, because it's just the same. Cancel that one entirely. Cancel that and cancel that, but it's pretty much, it's pretty much right, I think. So, finish these off then. So it's bed, bookshelf. Um, toilet. The plumbing will obviously have to be altered. Um, we might as well put a shower in because we're going to be re-plumbing the thing anyway. 
And then a chair. And I think that'll be okay for that grid. Obviously, cells will be expanded to that. The... Hmm, smelling something there. Double, double detection. Don't think it'll be real. Although, I could have dug out from there. Possibility we did remove it before we really searched it. Not likely, but... You know, we'll see what happens when I come along there. I also got a pile of washing just laid there for some reason. So, that's all that's set. We will prioritise that. We need to put some flooring in. And it is metal flooring still, which we have cloned for the most part as well. So, that is... That set up. Guard patrols. Um, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to set these up like so. And we'll do that. Have our ram patrols just go around in circles. Actually, they'll probably just bump into each other and turn around, but at least it'll be okay. Um, oh, it looks like we didn't need to replumb too much. So that's no graded cells. Yeah, you can see we've got room quality 5 and 9. Happy with that. Totally happy with that. Right, I think we are going to leave it there. Hmm. We got we recovered quicker than I expected. As soon as the workshop gets up and running, we've just got we just, we just flinging money at the problem. Speaking of flinging money and the problem, let's decrease our bank loan because quite frankly we're just paying too much per day. But that now has increased our finance rating, I believe. So yeah, uh, let's check overall grading because we haven't done that in a while. Eight percent reoffending rate, which is very good actually. It's probably the lowest it's been. Punishment six, reform five, security one, health minus two. Yeah, that's. It's been hovering around that for a while. The health, I believe, has gone down as as uh, as punishment, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, 6,800... Uh, 680,000, rather, uh, prison value. Daily profit doesn't really matter because it goes all over the place. Staff fatality is 9. That's quite bad. Deaths in custody, 36. So that's doubled over the last uh, pretty much a couple of episodes, I think. Paroled early, 182 with only a 2% reoffending rate. So we are going to leave it there. That's pretty much sorted. Next episode, I'm going to get this area up and running. This is going to be our um, common room and such. And then I want to plan off, at minimum, our death row. We would have got that done by now if it wasn't for the massive explosion and uh, basically an episode and a half in trying to resolve that. And obviously, changing all this over here was as slowing us down as well, but I think, I think, I know it slowed us down, but I think it's worth it. I think it's been worth it. Although saying that, we haven't got any legendary prisoners now, so it's uh, <laughs> a bit of a problem, isn't it? Anyway, uh, we've just detected loads of stuff when they go through there. Interesting, interesting. Anyway, leaving it there, as always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Comments in the comments, thanks very much for watching, take care, and generic partings.